All right, we're good to go. Welcome. We're, we're going right into the adventure now. Jumping right in. And we're still in Tribal Stack Tropics, the first world. Uh, which, it's not much of a surprise since, uh, you know, you get a... You get a good amount of things to do in this one place. Um, so I can't do that top one yet. Um, oh, is that a pagey? No, that's a, just one of those. Uh, leafy things. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't jump. I can't do anything. There we go. Alright. Now, there are 200 in a world. I'm not sure if this... Yeah. Game has, uh... Oh, I can do this. I have to go through the rings, though. The rings! No, ukulele! Okay, can I make that jump? I can. I'm not gonna make it to the end, though. Pretty close. Alright. So, I, I spent these last couple days in between streams thinking about, like, the things that I said and stuff about why I didn't like this, as opposed to, uh, you know, uh, Hat in Time that we, we played, um, and, uh, other big main platform games, which I put this, I put, uh, Platonic in, like, the same, what do they call, wheelhouse, I guess, of people, of developers like Nintendo and, and so yeah, big developers, even though they're indie and they're a small team now, but they have the understanding on how to make the team, they have, like, the, the experience on it, uh, how to create something like it. And, uh... But... Actually, that's kind of a tangent, but... What I was thinking was, the... Um, what I was thinking initially was that... All these other games evolve the platformer, the 3D platformer. While this is very faithful to the original, something that I did mention um, uh, on the last stream, but uh, and one of the thoughts I even had that I was like, no, that that's actually, I guess, a good thing that uh, Banjo Kazooie innovated on, and uh, oh, and other games adopted it, and with, it's this fact of you being able to stay in the world. Um, after you collect a thing. Am I done here? Do, can I do anything else? Like, right now? Do he, does he have any more power-ups? He might have a new power-up. So that was a good thing. I mean, like... Let's get another one, the new one that just came out, right? Odyssey. It does that now, and everyone's like, oh, it's great. So, in that sense, it's it's pretty good. Because one of my original ideas was like, maybe it's the pacing, it because it makes it very sandbox and you can do whatever you want. Uh, the pacing might be a little bit off, and that's why it feels off, but that's not the case at all. Because Mario feels fine, and it does the exact same thing. Um... So then I started thinking about the um, the moves that they have, and uh, I thought about the role and all the uh, moves in the other games that makes you getting around faster. And that's one thing. I, I don't 
think it's the only problem, or, the, or maybe even the biggest one, but that was one thing that I was like, huh, very interesting. So, this, in this game, the moving faster is kind of, how do I, I bet I can do something with that, I just don't know what. Uh, I feel I need to get a, some sort of power up. But, um... Oh, something down here. So, I thought... I had in time, uh, Mario... And, uh... I'm just gonna use those two. For now, I'm sure there are other ones. But, like, some of the other ones I've played recently are very non-traditional, like, uh... Uh... Snake Pass. It's still like a collect-a-thon, but it's all very linear, and uh, also it, movement is completely different. That's like a, a whole new thing. Hey out there, did you know you can click to enter aim mode and look around? Thanks for the tip, Pagey. We'll give it a try. Yeah, we we know what we're doing. You just need a you just need a spell. Oh, I need to get close. Hey... Come on. So yeah, move faster movement in uh, Hat in Time is just like the dive. And you can dive and jump and keep doing it and comboing. And it takes skill to get a large distance um, with that. Like, you, you can do it like it in straightaways, you can do it fine, but... Eventually, if you're in the race and stuff, you, you have to, like, do a good job because you lose a little bit of control over... over, uh... Hat Girl when you're doing that. And in a, in a way, it's similar to this, right? You... You can't turn as fast, but I feel that one of the big downsides to this one is that it's, it has a meter, and that's something that not even Banjo Kazooie had as having it on a meter. And it makes me wonder why they chose to put a meter on movement here. Since it's all platforming, uh, you would think that they wouldn't need to, because you can't climb up. For years, they told me Book Absorbing Corporate Lair wasn't in demand. If, uh, I didn't read the rest of them. Um... But yeah, like, why, why the meter? And I guess it's because of that, it's also an attack, so they don't want you to... But I think they could have done without it being an attack. Um... Yeah. Actually, I didn't even know about that aspect of it, that it was an attack. So I'm guessing it's probably because of that. It's just a free attack if you just race around. Quick quack! The call's coming through. <clears throat> Greetings, sirs. I wasn't expecting your call. Allow me to update you on our progress. First, I can confirm that a small portion of our workforce has been unfairly terminated. But please, consider the upturn in all of the wages we've saved. I promise, there's no reason to be concerned. My chairman of the board, Mr. Chairman of the board. I obtained the one book on schedule, and its escaped pages will soon be in our grasp. 
I assure you, gentlemen, the freakish duo have no idea what they're really up to. Once the book is full of pages, we'll be able to control them and the entire world. <laughs> Blast, this deal gets worse by the quarter minute. I'm not looking forward to them turning up in future games. <laughs> Dr. Quack, it's time to radicalize our outlook. We need to slow down the intruder's progress. Any ideas? Well, Sam, I do have these really nasty quiz questions. An evil quiz? Perfect! That's why you get paid slightly above minimum wage, Quack. Get to it. Hey, Kai, I'm doing well. It's really warm here. It's 100 degrees Fahrenheit, not Celsius. <laughs> if it were Celsius, I'd be dead. How are you? Welcome, welcome. I immediately forgot his voice. Welcome, welcome. I'm your host, Dr. Quack. Look, Laylee, this must be Capital B's big hench manager. If big was a, the requirement, this guy doesn't seem to fit the bill. Ooh! I reckon he'd let us pass if we lobbed him a few breadcrumbs. Silence! I see you've been trespassing illegally inside one of my scientific book worlds. And now you'll pay the penalty with terrifying quackfire quiz. The what? The what? You'll need to provide ten correct answers in order to survive my awful question assault. Answer a question correctly, and I'll allow you to progress forward. But get one wrong, and you'll lose a life. Lose all three lives, and it's back to the start. Ma ha ha, ma ha ha. They clearly blew the budget on the proper boss battles. Now step forward and prepare for a trivia trouncing. I can do this. I have no trivia. Busy day, Kaya. A tr oh, the Trouble Sack Temple. Who lives inside? Who? Who? Wait, what? Who lives in the? What? Uh, I, I don't know. Incorrect. Did he even get this? How did he even get this? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the irrelevant dinosaur, Rextro, which token does he seek? Ooh, ooh, I know this one. Play coin, yeah. I bet you say that to every question. Double curses, a super quick correct answer. That's a 2.0. Oh, if I answer quickly, I'm gonna get two points. Cool. The Deceitful Salesman Trouser. How many quills does he require for his very first move? None. It's free. <laughs> Curses! You're clearly cheating now! Get two more? Yeah. Underneath the Tribal Stack entrance. What color is- Aw. Uh, I think it's blue. Uh, mm, green. Uh. Oof, no, yeah. Especially in the morning, uh, Kaya said. I yup, didn't sleep well, so math and history was brutal, and I used to have math as the first thing in the morning, and it was the worst. <laughs> Hyvory Towers employees, uh, which did you cruelly defeat first? Corporate, corporate furniture. I guess corporate. Just a generic dude. Q 
Quill's legal property of ivory towers. How many do you have in total? Ugh. Ah. Do I have to redo this all over again? I have to redo that? <laughs> Yeah, I'll do it again. I mean, I need to do it to progress. Uh, I wouldn't describe this as fun. <laughs> uh, the disappoint. What does he hate? Salesman. Door-to-door uh, -door salesman. Yeah, there you go. No. Yeah, double double points. The hungry hog in tribal stack tropics. What is his name? You're, you're actually really making me think here, game. Oh, it's Sir Scotsalot. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Cloud. Can you be nimble? Nimble is the racing guy. And Rex by the riverbed. This is how I do tests, by the way. <laughs> I immediately find the answer I think is right and I go for it. And never look back. <laughs> That's how I take tests. Uh, I don't know. I yeah, there are game-related questions from a level I've already been in. Um, the Duke. I remember now. And, uh, honestly, <laughs> it's not very riveting. It's... It really slows the game down. It's a platformer. Uh, how many do you have in total? I don't know. Oh, if you make me lose in the on the last question, <laughs> and I have to do this again. Okay, that's inside Hyvery Tower, not Hyvery Towers. Uh, the Duke's Temple. Yes. Fiddlesticks, how did you get that one? Yeah, I did it. <laughs> Blast! The presentation slides for this quiz clearly pitched it as impossible. What defeats... That defeat's definitely going to come up in my next performance review. No matter, I'll make sure the next quiz is so tough that even a player's guide won't help you. Oh, I please don't. <laughs> Until next time, dimwits. Mahawahaha. Alright. What type of level will I be thrown in this time? So I've never been here. I... Through my first playthrough, I only played through the first world, and only a little bit. Oh, you're still alive. What's this? From wood to paper, yes, of course. And from paper to books. Wait, what does this one do? Oh, it makes it a bigger book. <laughs> yes, two small books. Just press them together. Make it a bigger book. World 2, I'm guessing, over here. Oh, what are you? Oh no, I've seen one of you guys. You're really hard to fight. Actually, I don't know how to fight you. Can I fight you? Okay, I'm... <laughs> Can I lick you? Nope, can't lick you. Can I even hit you? Okay, I need to be really precise. Can I not hit you at all when you're red? Okay. That seems to be the case. I can't hit you when you're red. Alright. I need to wait. There we go. 
I do like these guys. Yeah. We did see them once. They're just eyes and they go into Ooh, this is Rextro's arcade. How are you doing, Rextro? I wish for him I could do bad voice acting because that was so prominent back then. But I, I well I guess my voice acting is bad voice acting. Oh! Um Thanks for visiting. Play now. Uh before get shut down for rent up here. What? confused. So we have this one. No, we don't. Can I play games I don't own? Your friends want to play fun arcade game? Yes? I can play it, even though I haven't unlocked it. I'll just try this one. Shoot corplets, grab power-ups, get high score. Shoot, move. Okay. And jump. Uh oh. Oh. Interesting. This is weird. Oh no. Surprisingly easy to aim with. Um. A controller in this. Like, usually controller aiming is really hard, but... Not so much here. I don't know what they did. It does not have aim assist. I'm very much, like, having to aim it. Oh. But I could have gone through there. Just... Um, I saw a comment, but I am- I like really focused on this. Come on. Yeah. Also not the most riveting of experiences. <laughs> I have to say. It's alright, like it's fun. I don't know how long it's gonna go for either. If it's, it were like a, a Mario Party minigame, I'd be fine with it. You know, like, one of those. But that's the thing, I find Mario Party minigames fun because you're going against other people. They're what make the minigame fun. Oh. Um, I wouldn't... I, probably wouldn't like them nearly as much otherwise, because some of them just would literally become mashing games where you just press the button over and over and... <laughs> yeah, it is 8-bit music. Oh no, 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 I don't want to play it again. <laughs> uh, Alright, I'm actually gonna go to World 2. Oh, you're in the floor. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, my good pals. Back for more of my fantastic offers. No, you're blocking the route to the next world. Well, I reckon you'll be needing one of my top shelf moves to get beyond this cavernous gap. And for helping me expand my sales to Triangle Stock, Trana. Can't say that. It's free of charge. Well, if it's going for nothing, this next move will allow our purple friend here to glide through the sky with. A hold of A. Yeah. Simply leap into the air with A and then press and hold A for the second time to glide. <laughs> that sounds useful. I hope you're up to the task, lately. I had a big breakfast. <laughs> no sweat! These wings are stronger than they look! Yeah, 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 yeah. Super! Oh, come and find me in the archives later. I have something off the books to offer you. 
It's called crack cocaine. Hello. Oh, have some lives to gain. Oh, he, <laughs> he was this guy's his plant. I approve. I approve of plant disguise. Um. Oh, I thought I heard a, a pagey around here. Oh, box physics. Nice. Oh, gotta roll. Nope. What happens if I run out of roll and I'm down here? Oh, they have butterflies down here. Never mind. Your amateur moves aren't worth a dime for a change. I made this taunt rhyme. I just need to wait here. He's like, he's like a, a football player. A little, little football pose. Or it's like a, a, a three-point landing that superheroes do. You're jumping like, yeah, and then land. Is that it here? Alright. That's another one of these little robots. Whoa! Can I do something to this beehive? It's shining. Hmm. Whoa. Oh, book number two. Wait, I have, um... <laughs> Just tricked everyone, I'm not going. Those ghost riders think they can help you. They're dead wrong. Let's see what you did there. Um, I wonder when I'll be able to use that. I forgot that now that I have the ability to, uh... Hey, is this an... Secret area? It is. Where can I use this? The f ah, the camera. The freezy thing. Oh, secret area. Uh, didn't see where I. Oh, there is a place. Okay, I'll go grab it. I don't think there were signs to the world before. That sign to World 2, I don't think it was there originally. When I first played it. I remember being really confused where to go. But I think they fixed that. Oh, this is World 3! I don't want to go there yet. Okay. Hey, Vendy. Uh, just keep rolling. But yeah, Kaya, this is the game that I was mentioning uh, while I was playing uh, Hat in Time that I wasn't a big fan of. Ooh, alright. Short to cut. To... They actually have seemed to fi have fixed a lot of the problems I had with the game. Like, I was disoriented um, a lot. The, the camera's still a problem. That is continues to be a problem, but um, otherwise... Um, it's okay. There, It just leaves a little bit to be desired. Um... To me, I just feel that there's something missing. Wait. I find it more janky than a hat in time. Uh, do I need ice? 
No, I don't need ice. Why is there ice here? Okay, now that I can float. I should play Banjo-Kazooie after this, too. I don't... That's the thing. I, I need to replay all of these games now to know why. <laughs> Yay. Hello, it's me, Molly Cool. Take me to Dr. Puzz for a cool surprise. Yeah, I'll take you to Dr. Puzz. Hey, Dr. Puzz. Stupendous, you made it! If you find me a Molly Cool, I can fire up the DN Ray and help you on your adventure. What do you say? We're ready, Doc. Fire up the Marina ma uh, machine. Fantastic! Just stand over there in front of my DN Ray. Are you sure about this, Yuka? I don't want to end up on a sushi platter. <laughs> Always the last word missing. Alright. Let's do it. Are you ready to transform? Hell yeah! What are we becoming this time? Oh. Oh dear. That's not a T-Rex. Oh well, you could always use X to fire your plant spray. I'm sure it will come in use. Hey, hot stuff! Come over here and pay me some attention! <laughs> I'll just go with that voice. <laughs> for... Hello. Hey, handsome! I haven't seen you around here before. My plant sisters nearby could do with with a strapping flora like you in their lives. Tell you what, if you can help my sisters grow, I'll reward you with a romantic gift. What do you say? Sure, I'll do it. Yeah! Just gonna spray myself onto your sisters. <laughs> oh no. Classic. Platonic, classic old rare with their funky little missions that are clearly some sort of innuendo. Which I need to push this. Can I push this? This is a physics based game. Let me push it. I remember my older brother had a crash, ba had crash bandicoot. I don't remember which one on PS1. Played that a lot. Oh, I love Crash. I'm a huge fan of Crash. I also played that when I was little. And, uh, I never, as a kid, I never got through them. I, I was never really good at games as a kid. I just got to, oh. Thank you, thanks for helping my sisters grow, hot stuff. You certainly swoop them off their roots. Here's a romantic gift. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, um, but yeah, I never got to finish that. I think, um, I got like the end of the. F I never got to the first boss in the first one. It was only after I got it again in on the PlayStation Three. And I was like, because they had the remaster, but I didn't get that. I just got it, uh, like the classics that they used to have back in the day on the PS3. And uh, I got that, and that was the first time I ever beat any Crash Bandicoot, and it was the first one. And it was hard! Hello, can I spray you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what are you up to? Hey, beautiful. Don't. Tell that lizard and bat, but there, here, there's a special move extended, extender hidden at the top of the monument in the expanded version of this world. The trigger to revealing the secret is quite well hidden, though. I don't think you'll ever spot it. Huh? Can I do it as these guys? I can. Here. Yeah. Can I go in there? Yeah. 
And yeah, like getting. So I actually finished the first pr uh, crash. Uh, I think it was like last year, something like that. And uh. Nope, not as a plan. Um. And it, it's really tough. I heard uh, and read that it gets easier afterwards because they really kind of like get to understand it, that 2 is like the pinnacle of Crash. <laughs> the pinnacle of Crash. But uh, I haven't had a chance to play 2 or 3 again. Even though I was a huge fan of 3, Again, never got past the first boss, but was a huge fan because it was cool. It was like traveling in time, and you get to have a cool pet tiger for some of the levels. And I was like, yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I was very much a 90s kid. I was like, yeah, that's pretty cool. We all talk like that. <laughs> I don't think that's even like a 90s thing. <laughs> it's just me saying. Um, there's a ghost hidden underneath the entrance. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so you guys are like tip people. Alright, now I need to find a way to unbecome a plant. Oh no. I think I completed this world now. Yeah, the pet tiger ones were. We're also super hard, but I those were my favorite levels. Oh. Yep, ready to transform. <laughs> At least it doesn't go through the the ooga booga whatever it was called animation to transform me like it did in Banjo Kazooie. I am probably gonna end up playing every platform, every 3D platform I have played in my life on this channel. Uh, I think that's it. I, maybe I can expand this world again. Let me pour myself some more. Some more tea. I'm using for the first time my uh, a PlayStation mug I got. Um, can I not expand it anymore? Can I only expand it once? So I can get more things. Okay. Um, I remember there was a Kratos challenge. Or a Kartos challenge in this level. I don't remember how to get to it. Um... But yeah, I'm using a, a PlayStation mug for the first time. It's pretty fun. Uh, I went to a convention not too long ago and called the BGS, the Brazil Game Gaming Show. And Kojima was here, and Ed Boon was here, Kojima being the creator of Metal Gear, my favorite series. Uh, so that was pretty fun. Um, Ed Boon being the director of Mortal Kombat. Because Mortal Kombat is huge here in Brazil. Like, really, really big. Fighting games in general, Street Fighter communities and Mortal Kombat communities are pretty big here. I'm not a fan. <laughs> not a fan of fighting games. Um, like, I play them a little bit, but I don't see the, the big appeal. Not for me. But, uh, so yeah, that was fun. Uh, they had an exclusive Kojima shirt, so I kind of had to get that because, you know, fanboy. And, uh... They fixed the camera here. I remember the camera here being a pain the first time I went through. What in the world is that? Oh! Oh, that's a terrible sound, little butterfly. Life extender, collect me to extend your health. Yep. Sounds about right. Um. It was the second convention I had ever been to. 
Wait, so it was fun. It's still like a pretty fresh experience for me. Oh, the, there he is. I don't know why I didn't see, I hear a uh, thingy. I don't know why, um. Hello. Hello there, who might you be? Howdy, stranded strangers! I'm Kartos! <laughs> Let me guess, the god of war? I've no idea of what all you're blurring about, miss. My job is to ride the rails of them grand tomes and bring back gold. So I've not seen much treasure in a long time. Nobody cares for us mine cart fellas no more. <laughs> Sorry, what did you say? I wasn't paying attention. Oh! <laughs> nice to meet you, Cardos. Uh, we're searching for pages. Do you think we'll find any on your tracks? <laughs> You'll find plenty. Plenty when y'all inside me, boy. <laughs> oh no. There's gold in them there mine shafts. Say, how about your critters be my partner on a ride? Yes. Yeah, Street Fighter. Like, I used to play a lot of Tekken on the PlayStation 1, too. Uh, sure thing, Cardos. We'll give it a try. I remember Tekken 3. Oh boy, just like the old days. If y'all want to rustle yourselves a pagey, you'll need to collect 60 gems on my tracks before y'all reach the end. Okay, 60 gems. Do you need to know the controls, critters? No, I don't. I'm pretty sure. Oh, this ain't your first rodeo. Y'all jump inside me. Let's go for a ride. I'm pretty sure I can handle myself. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, got it. Um, yeah, that, that did just remind me that I, that I used to play uh, Tekken Three with my dad on the on the PlayStation One. That was really fun. And. Uh, I had a lot of PlayStation 1 games. Um, because of the ridiculous... Oh, maybe, maybe I shouldn't say that on screen. <laughs> okay, forget! <laughs> I was gonna say anything. Um, I did it. Yeehaw! Nice one, partners. Alright. Woo-wee! Hitting them rails after these years made me feel young again. Ah, uh, whatever, man. Showing old cart a good time. Here's the paper. Whoa, it's a bit windy up here. Oh, like, yeah. And by a bit windy, you mean very windy. Yeah, I need to learn the power-up to become the ball. Whatever, this is probably like a cannonball, so I'm heavy. I don't have that ability yet. Not strong enough. Um, you're breathing. Oh, hello. Ow. There's stuff down there. A bunch of these platforms that look like there's something, but they're probably not. There's a, a pagey out there. I forgot how I got there the first time. Oh, 
Um. Hmm. I thought there was a, another path from here. It wasn't just over there. Um. Oh no! <laughs> Oh no, this is this is bad. <laughs> I don't, I don't... <gasps> Can I do it? Can I survive this? Oh wow. I did survive it. Okay. Pretty nifty. <laughs> Need to be a little bit more careful. <laughs> Is that a different place? Or is that a place I've been to already? That ledge over there, right across. Yeah. Um, do I need help? Yeah. I, I also don't get why this guy... I think maybe I can... What happens if I throw... I threw water at him last time. I threw fire. No, yeah, me too. <laughs> I thought I was a goner that time. I was just... Oh, you're okay with fire, Mr. Cloud? Alright. What about ice? You okay with ice? A oh, Christmas. How do I open that? Oh, there's literally a button. <laughs> there we go. Where'd this take me? Oh? What is the point of this? Well, it's a shortcut, but... Why? Like, why the cloud dude, you know? Because I know if I give him water, he starts, you know, raining. Here you go. Mm, Nimbo's been holding that for ages. Yeah. We know Nimbo. Yeah, I, I don't get what that... how that benefits me. It's probably for some sort of mission, but I don't know which... Also, there are more areas, but the world doesn't expand more than it already did. I'm guessing it's the, the carrying the heavy thing. But, uh... I can't do that yet. I'm guessing that I'm done right now with this world. I opened the shortcut, so it should be easy next time I come through. Because <clears throat> there's even stuff down here, but it requires me to be heavy because there's these uh, breather guys that don't let me press the button. Um, So yeah, I think I'm good. I'm gonna go to the next world, finally. World 2. Figure out what that place is. Running power-ups are so useful. This tea is really good. Really big fan of tea. <laughs> like, really big fan of tea. I'm one of those people that some, for some reason people like to say. Oh! I thought 
I saw a, sh I saw a shortcut up there. Uh, yeah, there's something down here. Yeah, there is. Okay. Nope, can't do it. Uh, uh, right now I'm drinking oolong. Oolong tea. If we're going with the... Oh. Now, this is one of those moments where I shouldn't have said that I'm big on tea, because I forgot exactly what oolong is. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, ooh. Just... All the credibility about my team knowledge is, is gone. Which is fine. I don't care. <laughs> but, uh... Like, tea knowledge, who cares about having tea knowledge? I guess people that work in the business of tea care. Um... But yeah, it's very good. Very tasty. I... For the stream, I brewed myself a... A liter of tea, <laughs> which is, uh, you know, I like to drink a lot of anything. I just, I just drink a lot. You'll need three of us. Oh, I don't think I can unlock you. Um, Don't forget, you can choose to expand this world once you've found five pages. Just stand on the Grand Tomes, which uh, I can do it right now. Introduces a different perspective. Are we going 2D? Ooh, I do like I do like Earl Grey. Never had Lady Grey. Never had Lady Grey. Um, some of my favorites are, uh, well, my favorite is vanilla with, I, I never know how to say, ru Ruibus, ru 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 it's like R-O-O-B, B-O-I-S, I think, I'm not sure, but it's really good, it, it's my favorite by far. There's also one that comes from, uh, uh, oh no, I think it's Sri Lanka, and it's called uh, Candy with a K, and it's uh, it's the name of the, the region, and it's black tea from that region. I, uh, I'm, this is a bad day. <laughs> Maybe talking about this because um, I don't remember. Um, but that one is also really good. One of my favorites. I'm probably gonna get a wall-breaking ability. Hello. All the basic enemies are, are so easy. Um... Can I get you guys like this? I can't. Oh, you just disappeared. Um... But I do tend to like vanilla flavored things, and when I discovered vanilla tea a long time ago, I was a very happy person. Another one that I have a really hard time saying, it's the Dar... Darjin... Dar... Darjilian... It's something like that. And it's, uh, oh no, brr, it's cold, okay, I can't walk on the cold. I really like that one too, that I, is more common, you see it around a lot. Hello, you. Welcome, lovely to see you. How do you rate the new office? Poor, you don't even have a roof. Over your head. Yeah, yeah. Ah, yes. 
Traveler Co. apologizes for any inconvenience while we refurbish our premises. Before I showcase our latest stunning maneuvers, I can offer you a cup of tea. Yes! Coffee boo. Pirate movie disc? No thanks, Trouser. We're only interested in moves today, not movies. I see what you did there, game. Hold up, Yuka. What movies does he have? Oh, I have all of these. Are. Slurp state. Absorb powers. How many do I have? I can almost get two. Powers of gobbled items. Yes. Top choice. Explain to me really fast. Banned in three different modern game genres. As quality assurance move. Of course, this norm. Uh, anyway, I noticed my green friend tongue isn't quite as spectacular as it should be. Uh, with this upgrade, your slurp will be seriously improved with the ability to absorb the properties of your food. That sounds pretty cool, Trouser. What kind of properties can I absorb? Fire and ice. The books by George R. R. Martin. A sticky honey. Other bits. Uh, have a look on the internet. There is a probably a list on there. Okay, four, okay, so just two more. I can almost leaving so soon. Be quick. These deals are for limited time only. I can probably do it in three quills. Not probably. I can do it in three quills. I just need three. Hmm. Oh, there's a button there. Is it as simple as this? Oh no, it's not. Oh no! <laughs> it was a challenge and it got me in the first platform. Can I restart the timer? I can't. Can I do it with reduced time? Where are we going? Where are we going? Come on! Can I make it? Wow, they really give you a lot of time. Lady Grey again? For tea? Oh no, why did he choose the skull? Dr. Puzz. Hello. Alright, fish head, still in science business. Oh, very much so. In fact, I've just made a final collaboration said the DN Ray, and it's ready for transformation. With the latest modifications, we'll be able to teach that doctor the creep doctor quack and his new boss a lesson. Just make sure you press the correct button. The last transformation would, wouldn't last long in this weather. For this next transformation, I'll need you to bring me this world's molly cool. Alright. Seems like you haven't found it yet. Yeah, we, we haven't. We just got here, lady. We, we're, we're getting to it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna come back. And we, we're doing the thing. Um... Ooh, ooh, ooh. I might die. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't... Yeah, thank you for buzzing, phone. Uh, me to 
turn it off or put it on silent. There we go. I'll have none of that phone business. Actually, I'm gonna go in that first cave. No, I can't go in there anymore. I lost the privilege to go in there by jumping down. Become it? I can become it! I am honey! Oh, that's pretty crazy. I just became honey. Oh, I don't slide down! Because I'm sticky. I have sticky paws. Wait, 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 wait. Oh no, this is the way. Oh, well, that doesn't work. What is this? Oh, it's an upgrade. There, you look like you're straight out of Frozen. Away, it seems to have fled the hat that was on my head. Ah, all right, little snowman. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go find it. Sorry for just assuming your gender there too. Oh, what is that? What type of little box is that? Oh. Again, again. Show me again, beautiful rocks. Okay. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Alright, cool. I got it, I got it. This. Wait, how do I. Do I fire them? Well, killed me. Okay. No. Um. Do I lick him? is the one ability I didn't get from Trouser. I gotta go back. Grab that ability. Pretty expansive world. There's stuff underwater. There's a squeaking. Is it the snow? Or is it... Yeah, it is the snow. Why does the snow squeak? Ah. Uh, when the camera hitches. <laughs> ah. It's really bothersome. Yeah, I, I came through here. So this camera needs to turn a little bit faster. Is there a setting for that? Why are there so many of these guys? Uh, options. Oh, they're just all the people in this world. Interesting. Uh, controls. Oh, they don't. Camera. It's camera. Look sensitivity. Put it up. Back. Back. Resume. Yes. That's a lot better. What? What's that? What is this? This is like debug mode. I remember accidentally activating that once. It shows where. Um. All right, I'll ignore it. So distracting though. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Hey. It's really distracting me. 
Okay, I need, I need to find a way to turn it off. Is it because I did something in camera? Maybe if I put it on max? It doesn't make much sense. Oh no. Maybe I have to stop the game. Can I press something to make it go away? Oh, it's gone. Okay. Okay. I, I don't get it. Where- wait, where was Trouser? Was he in the beginning of the level? Yeah, he was, wasn't he? Huh. Oh, it's a whole separate area. Oh, oh, okay, I see. Well. There we go. I can't land there. Move, 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 move. Oh. <laughs> when I land on it... No, no. This is... Making me feel a bit... Oh no. Not gonna work, is it? No. Like I have zero focus, zero ability to focus on anything because I'm just running around and I say I'm gonna do something and then I don't. <laughs> okay, this needs to. Yeah, perfect. Nice. Sixteen pages. Doing pretty well. Getting pretty far. No idea how many pages there are. Got some more honeys here. Go up this icy area. Yeah, do I want to do that? Sure, I'll do that now. I'll just quick roll. Oh no, it's one of the, the bee drills. Yeah. The sticky sound. Oh no, I'm out. Should have kept going. Can't do it anymore. Well, I'll be back. Oh, I can do that part. Ah, thanks, water. Oh, you're back. I'm just gonna ignore you for now. Ooh, there's a pagey here. What's up? Who are you? Finally, you're here! Hurry up and get to work! Our plankers fire wood for sure. What? Good! This level needs warming up! Shut it, goth girl! Whoa! Now do what sculptures are paid for and sort out that dodgy statue. We're not... Quiet! Get to work! When Capital B finds out accidental, I accidentally botched his nice new sculpture, he'll put in a neighbor dispute complaint for sure. Neighborhood. Neighborhood or just neighbor? You'll need plenty of power to fix those imperfections. Wow, it's not even just imperfections, it's just 
blocks. <laughs> For sure. Alright. I don't think we're equipped to. Stop rambling and fix that statue. You sculptors types all the same. All talk, no action. <laughs> if you want your payment, you better get a move on. Payment? Yes, sir. I just... You see, that's how a, a pro does voice acting. You just start doing a voice in the middle of the thing. <laughs> Maybe, hopefully I don't die from swimming in cold water. Oh, I can jump. Do this. There you go. Oh, my favorite... Oh, ah, my favorite customer. Lizard leap? <laughs> Top choice, so this is the move you're after, yes. Alright, how do I do it? This move's crucial, beat trousers, impressive athletic record. I don't think you'd be much trouble. The lizard will leap. The lizard leap will allow you to jump, to perform an impressively high jump. Uh, just hold a left trigger and press A to jump. Okay, okay, this is it's like Mario. It's like. Mario. So it's like boom. Yeah. It's a little bit slower. But it's fine. That should not be a problem. Nice colors. Also, the music. That's one thing in this game that I really, really love. Grant Kirkhope and some other guys. <laughs> some other guys. Should know their, their names, but like. The tracks that Grant made for this are. And he was the original um, composer for the first uh, Bandra Kazooie. And, well, the first and second, I guess. Maybe even the third one. But he was Rare's, like, big composer guy. Um, I don't know what I have to do here. I cle they clearly give me fire. But, uh... I don't know what to do here. They give me fire, but fire doesn't work. Oh! Wait! Oh! I have sonar ability. Wait, wait, it's this one? This one? I'm guessing then it's this one, and then this one. Completely forgot about sonar ability. And how it's used to activate things. Ooh, it's quite a big storm outside. I hope it doesn't, you know, cut the power. <laughs> I would hate for that to happen. No, that's the wrong thing. I need to lick. I need to lick the. I need to lick the. The honey. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna get to the top. Yeah. Oh no. Game's back. That was weird. That was a weird bug. <laughs> just stopped. The game just froze. And then it came back. Alright. Anyway, I'm gonna take that opportunity to do a quick bathroom break and take more than 30 seconds. Other than the streaming downside of the rain, it's actually gonna make it cooler, so I'm pretty happy about it. 100 degrees is no joke. It's not fun either. Especially since I like the cold. What's in here? But it's raining weird too. It's raining like in... Yeah. It's raining in like... How do I... In waves? It goes like... At that rate. <laughs> so it's like... Huh, that's weird. 
Oh! I didn't even know there was an exit be behind me. There was an exit behind me all along. Oh, and I can't, couldn't get up there because I needed this. Huh. Well, that's pretty cool. I love when games do that. That's why Dark Souls, the first Dark Souls, was so cool to me. I'm still playing that. I might play that on stream at some point because I never got through it. But, uh... I love when they do stuff like it, like connecting everything, and you're just like, wait, that takes you back where- whoa, whoa, and Dark Souls 1 is just that over and over and over, and it's just all connected, and you feel like a conspiracy theorist where it's like, it's all connected, oh, where is it gonna lead me next? And it's really great. And it's difficult, it's, uh... You know, Dark Souls, it became a, a meme to be like, Oh, it's the hardest game alive. It's not. <laughs> it really isn't. <laughs> it's hard, I'm not gonna say it's not hard. I'm like, oh, it's easy. No, it's not easy, but it's not the hardest game ever. It just requires you to... Ooh, I got a little license to quill. Hey, Ark would love this game. This game is all about puns. I mean, every rare game is all about puns. Hello? Oh, you're red. I can't, I can't hurt you while you're red. Oh, if I have fire. If I have fire. No, yeah, the, the raining is weird. It picks up and then it stops. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's, it's doing that right now. And I'm... my computer's right next to my window. Oh, you're not being killed anymore. Oh, thank goodness! How me arrived. Uh, the nearby tribe of monsters is holding a rather valuable ar artifact. Uh, holding a rather valuable artifact hostage. You mean that smelly old pot? That's about as valuable as Yuka's old socks. Yuka doesn't even wear socks. That pot is antique, not old. I'll have you know. Boy, what do you call me? <laughs> Please help. The tri the tribe are preparing for dinner inside their homes. You'll need to pound their roofs in if we have any chance to escape. Of escape, right, Doctor Bones? Oh, I see. I, it's also a pun. Instead of Dr. Jones, like, Indiana Jones. I see what you did there, game. With your little pun. Unlike you, we've got a stomach for adventure game. Oh, wow. This is, like, straight out of Banjo-Kazooie. Where, in the first level, you have to do the same thing to a bunch of huts. I forget. Oh, get out, get out. Yeah, this is a very punny game. Um, did I get a thing? Wow, you're really smashing those- you really smashed those houses. The tribe will never recover from this. We're destroying local culture, I'll tell you. I suppose they could iglo them back together. Oh, please take your reward. The moment I mention puns, suddenly they just throw the worst puns. <laughs> Uh-oh. Light flickered. Light flickered. I might have lost internet. Is that all I needed to do? Okay. Good thing I'm recording all of these, too. I'm gonna post all of them later on YouTube. Oh, hello, sir. Oh. 
gosh. They never let me in the bridge club without my missing hat. <laughs> Why are you all missing your hats? Is there anything else? Yeah, I need fire for that part. Can I just drink the fire? I bet I can. I'm gonna drink this fire. Nope, that's not drinking. This is drinking. Ow! That's <laughs> not drinking either. I they told me I could do it with fire. Okay, I'm not I'm not gonna. It almost looks like I can climb this wall. Like it, it looks like it wants me to. What's the point? There is no point. What's the point of life? Is there a point? Don't ah me, bug. I guess I could try- now that I have all the power-ups, maybe I can try doing the sculpture thing. Maybe it'll let me- oh, I need to- I need to be sticky. Or not, or not. I don't. Okay. Ow. Oh. I'm always so close to dead, and I need to- I need to take care of that. Oh! I'm gonna die. Hey, Burpee. Can you stop? It's true. God never gave us a game guy. <laughs> be funny. Just a divine game guy falls from the heavens. Just like, here it is. <laughs> that <laughs> be really funny. Like, that's what happened. That's the mir the modern miracle that happens. <laughs> it's not like showing God sh showing up for uh, to save like a bunch of people dying in a terrible thing. It's to give us. To give us a game guide. <laughs> What's this? What does this do? Whoa. Heck. Okay. I think I get it. Need to get there fast, though. Smash it! No! That didn't work at all. Okay. Oh, I used that on the sculpture, of course. Oh, oh. Ah, I keep using the. Is it back now? Well, I'm gonna keep going. Oh yeah, I forgot. I need to get the bomb thing. Alright. Yeah, it's probably gonna do that. Uh, here it's a common thing to for it for a uh, the energy to the lights to like go out. Um because of of thunderstorms or just storms in general, it's not even a thunderstorm. Um So it happens. It's one annoying thing. Not very stable. There was a there was this one time where we were 
like, quite a few days with no light. Uh, all our food went bad. And, uh... It, it was just terrible. Um... Oh no, I, I should have done this. Oh, I can aim. I forget I can aim. It was really bad. Um... Yay. And it was, like, the entire street. We, uh... At least, like, I guess one thing is that, you know, electric, uh... Stoves or whatever. They're not as big as just, like, the normal, you know... Uh, you know, still just normal gas-based, uh... Oh, I died. Well, uh, am I gonna have to redo that? Like, it was cold showers and, you know, not much going on. <laughs> Doing, you know, computer-based homework was a little bit tougher, especially since it was in ye olden days when 3G and, you know, uh, what's it called, um, hotspot sharing with your cell phones wasn't really a thing yet. So that was fun. But, uh, it was pretty bad. They, they're very slow to do things here. I never got to the top, right? I fell. You gotta be pretty good. Oh no, it, it gives you. Okay. One thing it does right, it has actually, you know, normal shadow, like you can see where you jump, but it has the platforming shadow, which is something that, um, Pet in Time was very inconsistent about. It didn't always have the jumping shadow, which is very important for a 3D platforming game. There are ways you can get around, you know, you don't need them, but usually, very useful. Alright, what do I need here? I need a big key. Uh-oh. <laughs> Light flickered again. Um... I'm gonna keep streaming because I'm recording it, but, uh... I might be cutting it short soon. Soonish. Stream for a good amount of time. Uh, and I guess this is gonna live on. Yeah, the lights are really going crazy now. It's not gonna be too long now for them to completely go out. And I should turn everything out so nothing explodes. So I think I'm going to end it here. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If it's just recording now. It's, uh, thank you for watching this, this VOD, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'll be back with it, hopefully in a more regular fashion, hoping to make this a little bit more, more of a regular thing, we'll see, we'll see how it goes, um, but yeah. Probably not gonna be around tomorrow. By tomorrow, I mean. Um, you know, Friday. <laughs> anyway, bad at, uh, outros. Good night, Kaya. Have a good one. And, uh, yeah. See everyone later. <laughs>